Welcome to Fred Achando Analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly support our channel. Azimio has conducted three successful meetings, beginning from Kamkunji 1, Jakaranda, and the yesterday's Kam Kibira Kamkunji 2. And the supporters and the leaders have been organized. If what happened in those rallies is anything to go by, but they are facing a very difficult challenge that might even hinder them going forward. The governors from Ukambani, Kalonzo governors, don't seem to embrace these rallies. They don't just understand why the rallies should take place. Just last week, Mutula Kilozo Jr., the governor, of Makweni expressed his dissatisfaction with the organization of these rallies. He was claiming that they need to get development fast before any rallies take place. And then today, this is what Wavinia Deti tweeted. Wavinia is saying that as the governor of Machakos, I won't allow any Azimio rallies in my county. Time for politics is over. Let's spend our energy on resourceful activities and give government in power ample time to deliver and offer services to Kenyans. Ovinia Date is simply saying that William Ruto is the president and it should be given time to fix the economy because that is the narrative that we have heard from all the quarters, from the clergy that are allied to William Samoy Ruto, to leaders who have been compromised or are now uh, have sworn their allegiance to William Samoy Ruto. It is the accept and move on. Uh, when when and yesterday, when Kalonzo was in Kamkunji, he was in that Kamkunji rally. He cautioned and warned against this, against this narrative where they are told to accept and move on. Sisi wana Kenya lazima tujitole tulinde demokrasia yetu. Wangapi wakotari kulinda demokrasia? Story ya kuambiwa, story ya kuambiwa wa Kenya wamechoka. Uh, agree and move on yani unatoa ngao yangu kulingana na wimbo wa taifa haki iwe ngao na mlinzi ukitoa ngao yangu na ni haki ulinzi wa Kenya uko wapi na huo ndio wimbo wetu wa taifa wangapi atasema tutalinda haki zetu kila mahali zilipo kwa hivyo in fact, I even thought that he was responding to people like Wavinia Ndeti and Mutula Kilonzo Jr. This is not the first time when Kalonzo is having a troubled time with his governors. Why do you think that the Ukambani governors don't seem to embrace the Azimio rallies? Number one, is their relationship with William Samoy Ruto. You know, William Ruto, even before the August polls, wanted Kalonzo Musioka. He wanted Kalonzo to either join the UDA or contest alone so that they could deny Raila the bragging rights of the huge, uh, of the huge votes from Ukambani. But Kalonzo refused. He is not yet done because he has been meeting all the governors from Ukambani so that they can work together. And I, I'm, 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 I'm sure he has been sending the message in such a way that it looks genuine. He's telling them that we need to work with the national government so that we stop this politics to Jenge in Chieto. And that is why Raila 
had to rush to allow the governors to work with the national government because he understands that the county government and the national government must work together for the ordinary mwananchi to realize the dreams now it is the ruto influence because ruto does not want these rallies so he's using these governors and they have been using development as a bait to tell wananchi that this is a waste of time and this is exactly what Favinia Ndeti and Mutula Kilonzo Jr. are perpetuating. Number two, these governors want Kalonzo to contest as a president. Because Kalonzo is on record as saying that he has supported Raila thrice. And his conscience will not allow him to support Raila again. It is a debate that people must talk about because... I have spoken to some of the Raila supporters from the Luland and what they are saying is that that is what they are saying because they understand that Kalonzo has stood with them for a, a period thrice and they feel that if Raila would decide to relinquish his position as a Zemir leader and decide that he will not contest then the only person they will support is Kalonzo Musioka. While the governors would push him to contest alone, maybe because Ruto is using them or because they just feel that Kalonzo is a senior person who should not support Raila again, Kalonzo is looking at a possibility of a vacuum. If Raila decides to hang the boots and rest from active politics, then the senior most person there will be Kalonzo Musyoka and Martha Karua. So in as much as maybe the governors are pushing him, he feels something can come out of a Zimiyo. The other thing is that Kalonzo Musyoka himself might have been told by Raila what they are pushing for. Because after the whistleblower came up with the results of the eight, against, uh, 8 million against 5 million, he seems to be very charged. Today he was very courageous, a man I've never seen before. So it seems that there's something that he knows that the governors do not know. And that's why he's rooted in a Zimiyo. The governors also want Kalonzo to contest to give them time because if they go for the second time, what any other position would they want? They would want to occupy positions of leadership in Ukambani to become Ukambani kingpins. That is what happens with governors. So they want Kalonzo to contest and give way because in the next 10 years they would want to replace Kalonzo Musyoka, and that's why they are, they are up in arm with him. Number three, I tend to think that they still don't understand the structures and the full plan and the inten intention of Azimio. To date, people are still asking, what does Raila want? Is it going to state house? Is it swearing in himself? Is it secession? Is it 2027? Are they just organizing to check the government? So it's still amorphous. I understand that they might know what they want to do, but they have not maybe told the people. Because currently what people are waiting for is the, 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 the declaration that he made in Jacaranda that they are waiting for two weeks. If the UN body and the Commonwealth will not come to open and audit the server, then they will take matters in their own hands. I don't know. So maybe the, the, the governors do not understand and that's why they feel it's a waste of time because people are still divided people still feel that we cannot start another run for 2027 when we have the same iebc the same judiciary the same international community that we have always accused so they seem to be rocked within the same thought that has been bothering many and then it could also be kalonzo musyoka himself who is sending a message? Because I've known Kalonzo as someone who does not want controversial politics. Even when Raila went to, to swear himself as the people's president in Uhuru Park, Kalonzo never went. And he said he is a lawyer. He does not want to take part in things that are very unconstitutional. So it could be Kalonzo himself who is sending a message so that in the end, he will say that I was willing to work with Azimio, but my people have uh, got other ideas so that it will be very easy today if Raila for example wanted to work maybe with the let's say 
our deputy president Rigadi Gishagwa, and the people rebelled. He would come back and tell them but I will, that I was willing to work with you, but my people don't want. So it could be Kalonzo Musioka sending a coded message. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what you think, but Ukambani seems to be very slippery. They don't enjoy this. They don't welcome it. I don't know how Kalonzo is going to handle it. We are waiting to see, but this is going to be a blow to Azimio. Baba Wina has come up with the other allegations that he believes strongly that Uhuru, Kenyatta and William Ruto are in another form of, of, con, of con game. And he does not trust the saga that is going on between Uhuru and, 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 uh, and William Ruto. He's, in fact, he's telling Uhuru to resign from the job that he was given uh, as a peacekeeper in Congo and then join them in the rallies to prove that they are with them. That is another challenge, but I believe Raila will deal with it. You will realize that they will need to weather all this storm because William Ruto will be very happy to see them reacting the way they do. I don't know what to think, ladies and gentlemen, but that is my take.